Hello, my beautiful friends. We are only days away from the vernal equinox and the first day of spring that marks Persian New Year. We are so lucky to see our Zoroastrian traditions live and well. Growing up, Nowruz has always been one of my favorite holidays, and Nowruz in its simple translation means new day. And it's absorbed based on the Persian calendar that marks the beginning of the spring in Northern Hemisphere. We prettify a table spread known as Hafsin with symbolic and traditional items that represent many elements in our life and the year coming. We put seven items on a half scene table that start with the letter S or in the Farsi alphabet, Sin. So half scene means seven S's. But before any Iranian is ready to celebrate Nowruz on March 20th, we'll be busy celebrating Charsham Basuri on the eve of last Wednesday before Nowruz. On the eve of last Wednesday of the Persian calendar at sunset, bonfires are lit in hope of enlightenment and happiness throughout the coming year. People leap over the flames singing Sorhietwazman, Zardiaman, Astro, which means to let your redness be mine and my paleness yours. It is considered an Iranian purification chant. As we hop over the fire, we ask to be rid of our sickness, bad luck, and wish for health and happiness in the new year. We spend the night celebrating with our loved ones, dancing, singing, and eating delicious food. Although a grand Charshan Basuri celebration is obviously not feasible this year, I wish from the bottom of my heart that your days ahead would be filled with warmth and light of fire, health and happiness. This is a very emotional time for many people, myself included, and I would be lying if I didn't tell you that I haven't shed a tear or two as this is the first Nowruz without my loved ones by my side. As we're getting ready to welcome a new year, I now know more than ever how much we've taken for granted. Our freedom, our health, our connections, the small joyous moments with our loved ones. COVID-19 has truly changed the way that this beautiful ancient holiday will be celebrated. I am both sad and joyous. I am sad as I won't be able to spend this holiday, this beautiful day with my loved ones by my side, but I am joyous to know that we will be celebrating in spirit. One of my favorite things about Nose, which in my opinion makes it very, very special, is that no matter where on this beautiful earth you are, we will be celebrating Nose at the exact same time. Although I'm not at home with my family in Toronto this year, I know we will be celebrating Nose at the exact precise moment together. It's a universal celebration. This too shall pass. This storm too will pass. But life is not about waiting for the storm to pass. Life is about learning how to dance in the rain. I believe once this is all over, we will be stronger, wiser, kinder, and we will appreciate the little moments with our loved ones so much more. As I'm getting ready for no rooms and setting up my own half scene table, I appreciate every item so much more than ever. Samak, which is a crushed spice of berries, is placed on our half scene table to symbolize the color of sunrise, the daylight, and I like to think joy and warmth. Senjed symbolizing love and affection. We place serke, which is vinegar, to symbolize patience, age, and wisdom. We also place seep, a beautiful red apple, 
on our half seam table to symbolize health and beauty. Seer, garlic, to symbolize medicine and good health. Samanu, which is a wheat pudding, to symbolize fertility and sweetness of life. We also put sabze, which is a sprouted wheat that we grow in early March. And that's placed on our half seam table to symbolize birth and renewal of nature. However, a half seam table is never completed without a beautiful, delicious sabzi polo mahi, herb rice with cooked fish. Growing up, sabzi polo mahi was a tradition in our house for Nauru's. I remember watching my grandmother patiently washing, drying, and finally cutting fresh parsley, cilantro, and dill while singing happy Nauru songs and dancing through her grand kitchen in Tehran. I have always loved the flavor of fresh herbs mixed with fluffy rice. She would then grill her salmon steaks that were marinated in golden saffron and spices, giving the salmon an incredibly fancy look and an out of this world flavor, which is simply delicious. I, however, cooked mine in a skillet over stove top as I find it much easier. Lastly, a traditional hapsing table must contain AD. AD is a name given to goodwill money that is gifted to the younger members of the family by their parents, grandparents, close family and relatives who come for a visit on Nauru's day. I remember growing up, my grandpa would always go to the bank and get new bills put it in between his Avista book and gift every grandchild new money on Nauru's Day. This is an ancient Persian tradition that is still celebrated in many Persian households today. So on March 20th, millions of people from all around the world will be celebrating the change of season. And the ringing of the new year will be more quiet smaller this year, but the wish for health and happiness will be stronger than ever. The traditional belief is that whatever you're doing in that exact moment when no ruse happens is what you will continue doing for the rest of the new year. So may we continue to share the fellowship that adds happiness and warmth to even the most mundane days. Happy Nauru's to all you beautiful souls. May Ahura Mazda shower you with health, happiness, and prosperity this new year. And may we all have a beautiful Nauru's, a wonderful year ahead with heartwarming memories.